Hello there, my name's Jürgen. I'm responsible for developing brakes and brake operation at BMW M GmbH. Today I'd like to tell you about the brakes on the new M3 M4. We brakes guys have a motto. The later you brake, the faster you are. Oder anders formuliert, wer später bremst, ist länger schnell. That's not just a question of what the car can do, but above all what the brakes can manage. And these brakes manage a lot. Here we see the M4's M compound brake system, now with six piston calipers on the front axle. These enable us to use much bigger brake pads. That's a great advantage in terms of frictional stability, durability and comfortable braking. As we can see here from the black paint, the brakes aren't only available in the standard dark blue, but also black and red. The brake disc is a so-called assembled disc. There's a friction ring, a disc mount pod, connected by means of these pins on which the friction ring can expand radially via temperature. The disc mount pod is made of aluminium, the friction ring of cast iron. That's also the reason that a slight layer of rust quickly forms on the surface, which has no negative effects on functionality. Should the friction surface get rusty when the car is parked outside at night, this can easily be removed with gentle braking, and once again the functionality is not impaired. Here we see the brake cooling duct. The opening is in the area of maximum ram pressure. The headwind comes streaming in from here and is directed straight at the brake. Here in the M3 we see the optionally available carbon ceramic brake. This can do everything the standard compound brake can, only a little bit better, and is at the same time almost 13 kilos lighter. The weight saving with the carbon ceramic brake system comes from the use of carbon ceramic brake discs on both front and rear axles. The advantage of the carbon ceramic brake system over the M compound brakes is not just a matter of weight, but also high durability. In other words, there is very little wear, a steady friction coefficient and very good comfort behavior in terms of temperature. What the two systems have in common is the new operation. We call it IB, or Integrated Brake. The advantages of this system are obviously the two characteristics which we have here. In the M setup, besides the shock absorber setting and the level of steering assistance, it's also possible to select Sport or Comfort for the brake setting. To select the brake setting, press the setup key once. Then you can choose between comfort and sport. Further advantages of this kind of operation are very large hydraulic reserves and very steady brake pedal feedback, even at the highest temperatures. On the rear axle, a single piston floating caliper with integrated parking brake functionality is used. First and foremost, this saves weight. Doing without the dual servo drum handbrake enables us to use very flat disc pods. This in turn creates space for these deeply concave rims. <laughs> 